All right, we are here in Fort Bragg at the Stump Train. Me and Jennifer are gonna take the putt on it. Don't know where it goes, but we'll find out. Take you with us. Let's go. Fort Bragg Cemetery there. Jennifer loves cemetery. See cemeteries. Maybe go check that one out a little bit when we're done here before we leave. We got to ride back over to Cloverdale, so keep our eye on the clock. All right, they have this open deck car that you can come and stand on, check things out. I was looking toward the front of the train, the back end to where we're sitting, in there. California and Western locomotive. And I just, I really don't know how to make this zoom. I'm so sorry. But I left my charging cord in the room, as I said. So I'm just out of luck. Actually has a vending machines and a bar, little gift shop things. Probably really expensive. <laughs> See, these are pretty aged cars. I'm not sure if they're vintage. The left-hand side of the train, we have Pudding Creek. Pudding Creek was once used as log storage by the Union Lumber Company. At one time, this log park would hold up to 20 million board feet of timber. Today is a wildlife area, playing host to a variety of fauna such as duck, swan, great blue heron, egret, turtles, deer, and of course, the skunk. And a partridge in a pear tree. You'll notice many pilings protruding from the water. These once supported bridges and loading docks that were used by the train. In the past, tracks would have extended up just about every canyon and creek in the area, branching out to various different logging camps and small towns that spring up out in the middle of the woods. Our railroad began operation in 1885, with the first railroad equipment arriving in the area by ship in Fort Bragg. The main purpose of the railroad at that time was to bring the logs out of the woods and into the mill in Fort Bragg, where they would then be built into lumber and be sent out by steamship down to the San Francisco area. Passenger service for the Skook train began in 1904, though it did not reach Willits until 1911. Passengers trying to reach Willits prior to 1911 would get on the train in Fort Bragg and ride out to one of the many small towns along the line. They would then stay the night in a hotel, wake up the next morning, and ride a stagecoach the rest of the way to Willits. Once we reached Willits in 1911, passengers could ride to Willits in just a couple of hours, and freight would then go out by rail. From Willits, our passengers and freight could catch a ride north and south with the Northwestern Pacific Railroad, which opened in 1907, and by 1914 ran 271 miles from Eureka through Willits and down to Shellville, extending our reach further out into the country by rail. The Skunk Train was the last railroad to deliver mail six days a week up until September 15, 2003, which makes us the last railroad to deliver mail in the United States under a federal contract. The Skunk Train is also in the Smithsonian for this fact.
gas or maybe a tunnel. Crossing. No, it's a bridge. Guess they have to honk their horns at bridges too. folks from? Oroville. Oroville. We're from Bakersfield, so you're from a nicer place. We came over here to get away from the heat. It gets hot up in Oroville too though, doesn't it? Oh yeah. 13. Yeah, it was supposed to be 113 in Bakersfield yesterday. I didn't, I didn't zip the coast, so I didn't care. <laughs> well, I'll be publishing this probably in a couple of weeks once I get it all edited. And awesome. See your smiling faces on there. As we chug for the Thank you. One thing you'll start to notice is more and more redwood trees. That's because redwood trees don't really grow directly on the coast. They usually grow a couple miles inland and on a very thin strip of northern California. For 20 minutes, oh. the train will honk its horn at the 15 minute mark. We'll be disembarking from the right hand side of the train on either end of the open air car. This is our last train of the day. I guess we're gonna stop. So if you were expecting to hop on another train after this train leaves, you'd be wrong. You don't have to hike a three and a half mile trail. Well, we come to a stop here. We're gonna stop for 20 minutes, I said. Everybody can look around at the trees. These are the coast redwoods. These aren't the giant sequoias, but they are extremely tall. They're still big old trees, too. It's all right. You can go down and go hiking around in that skanky, spongy water down there. It is nice and pretty down there. It's up there. Foliage, trees, all kinds of stuff. Yeah, all kinds of stuff make you itch and break out. Yeah, yeah, right? Yeah. break is over and we're headed back I thought this made a loop around back into town but it just goes out and goes straight back and we are headed back now and uh, we've already seen this no reason watching it in reverse so we will see you when we get back to Fort Bragg California and Eastern, which is what this is now, was once the Union Lumber Company, and that's who actually built the railroad between Fort Bragg and Willits. And they run a skunk train out of Willits too, up to what's called the summit and back. And then they won, run this one, uh, I guess seven miles. I thought it said a seven mile loop, but it's, uh, I don't know if it's seven miles out seven miles back or three and a half out and back We're going slow so it's hard to tell she's had a long day so anyway I just wanted to toss that in there piece of information train as we're back and back up into uh, Fort Bragg. What's your name? Sam. 
Seth? Sam. Sam. Short for Samuel. This is Samuel. Nice to meet you. But this is a 3% grade we're going up right now. You sure can tell too. You can't tell when you're sitting on the car, but you can sure tell by looking out here. Anyway, thought I'd come back here and shoot a little bit of this. interesting ride, learned a few things, it was uh, narrated, got to stop and see some beautiful uh, trees, and uh, it was a good trip. Alright, well I'm glad we went on it, uh, it wasn't that much, about 40 bucks a person, uh, sounds like a lot, but not in this day and age, so keep on shooting those ideas at me.
drop in the comments below shoot me an email at motorpoet59 at gmail.com like share subscribe and remember to like share subscribe click on the bell if you want to be notified of future content and we'll see you all later